Hello, my name is Steve M. Nash and I'm the editor of selfhelpcollective.com. Today I want to discuss with you assertiveness techniques. I'm going to share with you what Lorena Case has to say in their Six Signs You're Not Assertive Enough and What to Do About It. I'm only going to share the, a summary of Lorena, Lorena's thoughts, but I'm going to say to you that I love what Lorena has to say. Uh, this is probably one of my favourite pieces of wisdom that I've shared on my website, and that may be more because that assertiveness may be an area of my life that I needed to sort of address. And that's why I really valued what, what Lorena has to say. So I encourage you, if assertiveness is um, an issue, to do a search for six signs you're not assertive enough and what to do about it. And hopefully you don't just find this page that, you're, that you may be watching this video on. Anyway, I'll just share the opening paragraph, the six signs, what it, they mean, and then some thoughts that I have about what Lorena has to say and maybe an, assert an assertiveness technique that's worked for me. And of course, I want to know what you think. Thank you. So here we go, here goes. Six signs you're not assertive enough and what to do about it. Do you have a sneaking suspicion that you're not assertive enough? There may be some truth to your fear. If so, we'll get to the bottom of it and help you develop assertiveness skills. Answer, agree or disagree to these six statements to find out if you're not assertive enough and if becoming more assertive could help you advance your career. One, I have a hard time disagreeing with people whose views I think are wrong. This addresses disagreeing with others. Two, it is difficult for me to say no and I often end up taking on tasks that I don't want. This addresses saying no. 3. Because I am nervous about appearing aggressive, I may be too passive in my interactions. This addresses the fear of being seen as aggressive. 4. Delegating is not my strong suit and I frequently do more than my share of the work. This addresses delegating or asking people to do things for you. 5. It is tough for me to speak up and share my opinions, especially if it especially if they are somewhat controversial. This addresses expressing your opinions. Six, I know I need to promote myself more at work, but I dislike marketing myself. This addresses the fear of self-promotion. So Lorena Case, I hope that's how you pronounce your name, Lorena, has six areas of assertiveness that you can agree or disagree on and they're, they're focused on uh, work but generally I think they can be applied in interactions with people in the family situation, in a group of friends situation at work <laughs> in a bar or restaurant And I think Lorena makes some great points. And I think the core, well, one of the fundamental cores of, of what, of the points that they, Lorena makes is, I guess it comes from being okay with yourself, being okay with other people's perceptions of yourself, being okay with asking for things and getting them or not getting them, being okay with conflict with others. When you're okay with yourself, even if part of that being okay means acknowledging that you may be a little bit selfish or you may be um, a little bit aggressive, or you may just not be perfect, you may just be okay with your imperfections. When you're okay, with that, it allows you to sort of say, this is what I want, please. And you, you express it in a, in a neutral, hopefully, win-win 
tone rather than sort of a, an ag being aggressive and trying to sort of win, beat the other person. But you just say what you want and you give permission for the other person to say what they want and then you negotiate. I think this is the, the essence of, of the six signs that Lorena Case shares. I have not always been assertive. Comes from lacking confidence, maybe low self-esteem, lack of self-belief, not believing I'm enough. It, it undervalues myself. It undervalues my relationship with the other person. It undervalues the other person. Whereas when I believe that after some thought that I would like to, I would like this to happen and I express that desire and I hear what the other person says, I'm valuing myself, I'm valuing the integrity of the other person, even if there is conflict. I'm, I'm, I'm striving for self-expression and, and to hear the expression of the other person. You know, when we deny ourselves, when we seek to deny another person, nothing good comes of that. It may be that I want something, the other person doesn't want something, and we do not agree, we agree to disagree. This, this, this is something that we learn, and we may learn that the two of us cannot do a certain thing together. This is how some friendships grow, some friendships wither and die. So this is how some relationships work. This is how some relationships don't work. It's the normal order of things. And really, assertiveness is about allowing life to flow, allowing your life to flow, allowing other people's lives to flow. And when you lack, when you, when you shrink and you do not assert yourself, you are, you're trying to sort of deny life its natural flow. And it, it, it puts a crimp on you and on the other person and on, on life. And, it's, there, there is nothing selfish about assertiveness. It is, it is simply self-expression. And, and if you are selfish and you assert yourself and people, you know, you actively assert yourself rather than passively, people will feed back to you. You're being, you're being selfish and hopefully you will hear that and you, you will listen to that wisdom and you will take it on board. You know, part of growth is to get feedback and then to, to change accordingly. It, it's not about just being yourself and, and, and not changing. It's about being yourself, allowing the other person to be themselves. This is what I say. This is my, my philosophy on, on life and living and allowing, allowing people to live. How, and how it reflects itself in assertiveness. So this is what Lorena Case has had to say about assertiveness techniques and I would love to know what you have to say about assertiveness techniques. What assertiveness techniques have you put into practice with success? Please do share. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Lirina Case. Goodbye.